Good morning, guys. Um, I'm back. I told you guys that I'm going to start doing a live videos and talking about social issues, um, entertainment, celebrity gossip, um, promotion, movies, reviews. I mean, like every other thing. I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can. So, because they like, were almost like in the new year, I want to know like what is your new year resolution? Hi, Michael. What is your new year resolution, and what do you have planned for the new year? For me, I have a couple of things planned. I'm not sure if I should say, it, but. I'm going to say I need to um, better myself as a person. Let's just say that and try to improve myself again as a person because we all know that we all make mistakes. Um, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Um, every day that passes is a learning process for me. Whether I'm going to make mistakes, learn from it, or it teach me a good lesson that will make me cry, or teach me a lesson that will make me, like, really learn learn my lesson the hard way. Because some of us, we learn the hard way, we, we can't learn the easy way. So, you know, as a person, I really want to be a better person. I want to be a better mother to my daughter. Uh, a better daughter to my mom, um, better sibling to my sisters and brothers, and really, like, when it comes to my personal life, is but, God, that all of them by go fix it, you know, you can't really, you can't really force it, but I want to know, like, what is your New Year resolution? Michael, you watching post comment. That's why I'm going live. I really want to hear people New Year resolution and how are you going to achieve that? For me, I know how to achieve my New Year resolution. And that is pay attention, um, stay focused, do not buy into negativity um for me as a person i always like try to do stuff to make everybody happy you know and for me even though i'm going to continue being that because that's the kind of person i am but i have to start being worrying about what people think about me and you know how people view me and and people opinions because honestly if you let people opinion get to you you're never going to be happy you're always going to be like oh if i do that somebody going to be um say this about me if i do that somebody going to say this about me but if you really think about it those people are actually doing what they want to do those people actually working towards bettering themselves, working towards their future, you know? But yet, some people come online and want to judge you and forget about their problems and make you feel bad about yourself, which is wrong. Anyway, oh, I'm not talking your head off. But I'm going to be doing more videos, more and more videos. I'm going to be doing music reviews. I'm going to do movies reviews, um, album. I'm going to be talking about gossip. Like, just now, somebody sent us a message about Eric Gizzo and his manager saga. It's not easy. Um, people are getting sued. I don't know like the exact story behind it, but I'm going to 
make sure I talk to Eric Jesus about it first and see what's going on because Gossip Magazine has already posted it. Um, yeah, and the LE is coming up, and I'm not sure if in a you are going, but you know, yeah. Bye bye, guys. So that's it. I'm gonna be doing more videos. Comment, 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 comment. I'm gonna post our email address if you have like any topic you would like to suggest. LIB Unite 2017. I know, right? We should definitely unite. We should definitely unite. I feel like in our community, people are here. And other people are there. We're trying to build our entertainment in the street. It's very hard. It is very hard. You have like people here and there, and then you have like like bring people, the few people that are actually supporting our entertainers, and then you have like the people here who like always like criticizing. It's always good to criticize anyway, but. It is also good to give constructive criticism. That way, you see something, you don't like it, but you suggest a way that that thing can be better the next time. So, you know, and all our people do is they criticize. They never really, like, suggest how best you can do it the next time. You can just, it's not okay to just look at somebody's work and just criticize their work, but if you cannot suggest a better, much better way for them to do it next time. So it is important that we start building each other up. Start all this argument. Um, the too much sex videos online we need to stop i block me on fb you how did i block you probably maybe you was breaking negativity and honestly sometimes i don't want to be a part of that you know and i would try my best to really keep away from negativity but if you said something, probably maybe you was right, and I didn't want it to hear it. And probably, you know. But the only time, I don't block people online, and Jimmy Ma. I, I, I don't block people online. But it probably you was attacking me, and that's why I deleted you. Who knows? Because honestly, I don't have time for negativity, seriously. Because some of us, we have our own problem going on in our lives. And we come on Facebook to do our work. And when somebody come and attack you, the best way in order for you to behave yourself is actually to, you know, it's tutu girl, who tutu girl? I don't block people, sweetheart. Unless you really attack me, like you you cursing at me, you're disrespecting me, and I don't want to get in, like, altercation with you, that's when I, I will, like, unfriend you or block you. That way, I'm not in a situation where I have, like, so many people who follow me and they respect me. Hogman, baby, man. Why would I block you, sweetheart? I didn't block you. I don't even I know Hogman. Hogman is used to be my friend back in the day. I wouldn't be I wouldn't block you. But if I did, I apologize. You know. I apologize. Forgive me and please add me back, okay? I apologize if I block you. Probably I did it by mistake. So, you know. But yeah, I want to hear your New Year resolution. Basically, that's why I'm doing this video. Like, I really want to know. 
what you guys plan, what are your plans, are you partying, New Year Eve, you know, like, are you trying to get better, I mean, get right with God, you know, and every other stuff, and also, I heard about the, the man and his wife that got killed in Liberia, a lot of people are saying that, um, it was smoke or whatever kill him and some people are saying that his brother was holding forty thousand dollar when the boy went back home I guess and killed them or whatever that is. Let me tell you what had happened to my mother. My mom brother from the scene my scene pa Okay I will eye you I will eye you sorry how are you? So, she sent money up to $60,000 back home for she and her brother to do business. My mom is a very thick woman. When I'm telling you, very thick. That way I took, you know, the body from. So, when she went back home to do business with her own brother, my mom went back home for her 60000 she went there. None. Nothing was there to be found. My mom went back home like this. She came by looking at stick. That what family member can do. And I'm not suggesting that they, you know, their family member actually killed them. But I'm saying that people back home, a lot of people back home, they can frustrate people. You sit in America, you working really hard for your money. Then your own family that's supposed to put their hand on you to say, you know what, let's support our family member. You think people in America yet, yeah, it's easy for us. It's not easy. We live from paycheck to paycheck. Nobody in the country just get and take money and give it to you. You have to work hard for it. And besides, you don't even have friends then. You're not find friends and I'll just take 100 and give it to you every day. No, you can't find that. So every little money you get, you work hard for it. And before you come home, probably your body hurting you or something like that. But people back home, sitting and thinking that people yet living, walking in money, milk and honey. America is not like that. You guys are, you have it wrong way. Like, bro, it's a struggle. You know, I'm not there, so I won't say it's easy over there. It's not easy in America, except for us either. You think American government just taking money, giving it to people here and there? My mom went back when I was 60000 she sent to her brother for them to do business. Now I mean, took that money and spent it, everything on woman. He had like five different girlfriends. He married two of them. He went and opened a business in different, and uh, in his wife, in uh, 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 country side. My mom went back home. She came by looking at her stick. God, I give God the glory. If it wasn't for God the other day, I'm telling you a story that my mom had passed away. My mom sent $60,000 for a business with her own brother, Sima, Simpa. And then took that money and used it on women. And then he opened her business. But you know, God can sleep. That, that, that one thing I know about God, he cannot sleep. Whatever you do to them to marry or poor, Joseph will do it to you. Why is Joseph going to do that thing to you? Because you did you did something before to somebody. So let me tell you, Anna. So when people work in this country, half of their money, they save it up. They want to do business, open business back home. So when they can't in their own country, they can feed that human being. Then you're taking and use it. They're killing somebody there. You're killing people. Hmm? Anyway, to call long story short, my uncle, after he used all that money, my mom came back to America. She almost died. But I tell God, thank you. We were there. We rushed my mother to the hospital. It took four months for her to come back to herself again. You know? And then, two years later, now, all the money in there, my uncle back on that celebrating him, he got in car accident, motor accident, motor by hit him. Why you think that happened? 
Hmm? Why you think that happen? Because when you do wickedness to somebody today, then you forget that tomorrow, tomorrow ain't coming. No matter how much you do wickedness, no matter how, how, how many years passes, hmm? no matter how long it passes, God will repay you. I'm a strong believer in God. If you believe in God, I have business. But for me, I believe in God. And I believe in karma. Because when you do something to God today, Mary will do it right back to you. Now, what I can say. So, you got in the car accident now. He later had to call my mom. They rushed into the hospital. He had to call my mom to apologize. And my mom, when you see, when you see somebody who got a good heart, and my mother, and that had they passed down to me. I'm I've been friends with so many females, and they always let me down. And now, what I do, I just stay by myself because I don't. My heart is so good. Now I'm not perfect. Don't get me wrong. But because I have a good heart, I have to protect that heart now because I've been friends with so many females who turn around and attack me, who say stuff about me behind my back. So now I have to be careful. So that's the heart. My, my mother's heart is what in me. You know, human being, some of us anyway, some of us were very evil that ate there. But he called my mom, he apologized, my mom instantly forgave him. And that's why God will continue blessing her. Yes, thank you. Whatever you receive, whatever you do today, you will receive your reward tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Like how life is. So when when you doing something to people or somebody. Don't forget tomorrow because life cannot be in one person's favor every day, every year, every, you know, every week. Today you will be up and some people will come to you and ask you for help. If you get it, try to help. So then all you have to do is sing, put your hand out and, and, and help somebody get up. That's it. That's it. So then all you have to do is get down and help somebody. That's it. Be good. I'm telling you, be a good person. Now, I'm not saying be stupid because a lot of people can take goodness for stupidness. But just be a good human being. Be a decent human being. And that's one, one of my uh, uh, New Year resolution. Be a decent human being. And let me tell you a story that just happened in Fide. One girl on Facebook, I mean, I don't know her. I've never met her. You know, she on Facebook. Yes, like bring poor good people. They get me friends on Facebook. Um, she posted online that she was gonna kill herself. The first time I saw it, I'm like, hmm. I felt very uneasy. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna call her name just to keep her private. Just to keep her, you know, privacy. Um. She posted that she she going to kill herself. And then, as I was strolling down on my timeline, I saw the message again. I said, you know what? Let me inbox the girl. Something just told me to inbox her. So I inbox her, and I said, don't even try it, my sister. I think I'm a Nigerian girl. Mm -hmm. I'm a Nigerian girl. Don't try it. She said, oh, I can't do this anymore. I think I'm going to end my life. And I'm like, what? So, I mean, like, I don't know what is it that you're going through, and I don't want you to tell me. All I know is I will see you in 2017. I will see you in 2017. And that is so important. Why would you want to kill yourself? What, like, for me, Bene? Family business? Your friend, eh? You don't got money? You don't got house rent? There are worse situations out there. There are um, people... Out in the great America, what they say, milk and honey, they lay in the street, they are homeless. It's cool outside. And guess what? They are laying in that cool because they are trying to survive. Whatever happened to you today, you can fight it. 
If you have to cry, you have to continue crying to fight. You have to curse. You have to, like, do anything for survival. You should do that. Don't kill yourself. Do not ever think about killing yourself. Your life means so much. It might not mean so much to a million people out there, but it, it will mean something to somebody else out there. And you have to live to tell your story to people. There are people every day on your timeline. They are not telling you stuff, but they are going to hell. Because all some of us be thinking about is negativity, negativity, negativity. People are going through hell. Be nice. Sometimes post a nice thing. Post something nice. Do you understand me? And that people dollar. I've never met that girl. I still have my number. And I thought she would never call me. She called me like 3 a.m. in the morning. I didn't know it was her. I thought it was my sister that called me. And then she, and I heard a person crying on the phone. I knew straight it was her. I said, what's going on? She said, I can't do this anymore. I have to kill myself. And I'm like, my sister. Even though she's Nigerian, she, she, she speaking Nigerian English, but I speak in my library English. Nothing is worth taking your life, my sister. I will tell you that. Nothing worth taking your life. You have to live to be able to tell your story to somebody else so that person can be inspired. All those people can be inspired by your story. Everybody on earth are survivors. Especially librarians. Look at our country right now. We're going through hell. The people there, the healthcare system is bad. Um, no job. It's not enough jobs for youth. Youth out in the street taking drugs, smoking. Even little young boys then doing like homosexual things now. Just to survive. You know, life is hard everywhere. Whether you're in America or not. People online, come online, wear that flashy clothes. Try to make you feel bad because you have your late other clothes that you wear. Who cares? Actually, like, who really cares? You know? It don't matter. Those people, they probably have something better than you or they don't. But they are sitting at home and fooling themselves. You have to be smart. 2017 is the year for you to be smart. For you to make better decisions. For us, let me put myself there. For us to make better decisions. For us to do the right thing. For us to be, try to be positive. For us to be better human being. Because I'm telling you, people are going through hell. Everywhere in this country. In Liberia, in Africa, in this war, people going through hell. William, what did not you? You think what I'm talking or the power is the librarian people? Librarian pe people can help anyone. Honestly, librarian people are good people. Librarians are good people. However, and I'm not saying all of them. A majority of librarians are good. You go in library right now, stranger, somebody will take you in. Whether they got money or they don't have money, they will help you out. Because that's how librarians are. So don't tell me say you're a bad person yourself. Anyway, whatever that is, just stay positive. Just be a good person. If librarians are not good, you try to be a good person. You try to be the example for librarian people. How about that? Hmm? How about that? Be that. Be that person. Be the person that will set example. So now I'm telling you, she won't let her kill herself. And she called. I had to talk to her. When she hung up the phone, Something just told me in my spirit, you have to pray for that poor dollar. Now, 
I'm not a big prayer person, but when I decide to really start praying, oh boy, the whole house can get hot. Anyway, it's a gift that um I have, and even my pastor has told me the same thing. So, but it's just that some, you know, we get caught up in worldly things, and as a human being, I am working on myself. Do you know? Because I'm not perfect. I'm not even close to it. I make mistakes. Thank you, ma. I make mistakes. I'm not even close to being the kind of decent human being. Do you understand me? But I'm working on myself to be a better person. Most importantly, to be a better mother to my daughter so I can be the set good example for her. I really want to be a good person. So, the 2017 are coming up. I'm working towards that. And I will work towards it. To be a good human being. Better person. Do you understand me? Try to not... Someday I'll come, I'll be on my nonsense behavior. That we all have flaws. I have my flaws. You have your flaws. I don't expect you to be perfect. So please do not look at me and say, oh, you're not supposed to be doing this. Because I will do it and I will learn from it. That's how people grow. If you don't make mistakes, how are you supposed to grow? You know? But I just want to say that um, being a blogger, it has helped me really much to be a better to try to be a better person because I love blogging. Blogging is one of the things that when I was in my darkest days, although you have like your family, some of us are lucky or blessed enough to have our loved one there. You know? Some of us when we go into hardship, you know we lucky and blessed to have our loved ones there. Like my mom. She's the best human being I've ever had. Ever. And when I was going through her shit, she was there all through the way for me. She was there. She was crying with me. She was hugging me. She was wiping my tears. That's my mother. My mother, my family. It's one thing I know my family. If one thing I know my family for is the togetherness. Whether we get one dollar or ten dollar, we'll buy food. We 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 cook it together. And put it in BP and eat it. To think you can't to America, some families will come to America and be adapting all American behavior, all that stuff, you know. But for my family, well, like 10 or 20, like, if we're struggling, we will cook food together, buy pepper, you know, rest, sardine. We put in people, all of us eat. That's how my family are. That's how my family is. And I thank God, thank you for that. And I pray that um, I work towards becoming a good human being, to be a better uh, child to my mother, so that my child can learn to be a better child to me when I'm older. So setting an example for my daughter is one of my resolutions for 2017. Try to be a good human being. Good human being. So that is it. So no matter what you're going through, you have to fight. You got to stay there. Whether you, you will curse, curse, cry all you want. But make sure you stay in your ground. Tell yourself, I'm going to win. Because you cannot let. Because you fall down one time, two time, three time, eight time, 20 time, 100 time. You tell yourself, you giving up. Your life is so important. 
the person that them that value it might not be around yet, or the person that will value it is not even around yet. But you always have to think that somebody out there need me. Somebody out there need to hear my story. When my daughter father and myself broke up in Philadelphia, all the whole Philadelphia are talking about me as if I'm the only woman that men are lead with child. There are women out there who got four, five, six children by men, and those men leave them. Then I me what get one child for waiting. I'm gonna keep my set. Ah, I ugly. No men want me now. I can't do that to my set, man. Jesus. Even though when you're in our states, you be thinking all kind of negative things. You think, say, you, you'll not be attractive anymore to nobody. No man want you again. But there are women out there who are even stronger than my weakness. You know? Those women inspire me to be a better person. Whether I know them or not. But I know out there, it's always somebody going through worse situation than you. Somebody is always going to be richer. Somebody is always going to be prettier. Somebody is always going to be um, sexier. Somebody is always going to be happier than you. At the end of the day, you worry about yourself and try to better yourself. And work with your own speed. Don't try to complete with others. Oh, look at me. Look at the place I'm living. Look at the things I'm doing. My friend is out there. We all do that sometimes. But guess what? You got to slap yourself sometimes and say, wake the hell up and stop doing that. Don't put pressure on yourself, man. Don't do that. Be good. Stay positive. And know that God is always there. What a... We all know God, God ain't coming down to help you, but he passing through somebody. You know, God can touch somebody's spirit, and that's not, that's what God did with that girl, the Nigerian girl. That said she wanted to kill herself. God moved my spirit to send my number to somebody I don't even know. I've never even talked to this girl. I'm friends with so many people on Facebook. But that is there. See you. I gotta go. I'll talk about it later.